So what do we need to know about Judge Garland that hasn't really been spoken about yet? I'm here to urge Senator Grassley to hold hearings and a vote for Judge Garland. Judge Garland, you cannot imagine a more perfect candidate for the U.S. Supreme Court. Judge Garland is exceptionally smart, hardworking, nonpartisan, moderate, fair. He's your ideal Supreme Court justice. And it's really reprehensible that Senator Grassley is denying him even hearings and a vote that would give the American public a better chance to get to know him. When you say that he's modern, fair, what are some examples? When I clerked for Judge Garland, I was extremely impressed that every single case that came into chambers, he never decided it before he read everything. He never made a decision based on politics. He never made a decision based on the, politic, on the identity of the parties. He made decisions based on the law. He read all the briefs very carefully. He read the, all the cases cited in the briefs. He read the relevant statutes. He read the record. He debated with his law clerks about the pros and cons and the arguments on both sides. He was just extremely meticulous and fair-minded. He never made a decision based on politics. He always made it after very, very careful study of the relevant legal issues. Do you think that too often nowadays everything is based on just every decision is just based politically, like unlike what you say about Garland? I certainly think that the Senator Grassley is politicizing the judiciary by opposing a candidate who everyone agrees is extremely well qualified and has the perfect temperament to be a Supreme Court justice. I think Judge Garland typifies exactly what a judge should be in being nonpartisan, moderate, and completely fair minded and also extremely meticulous. What are some cases that you can recall? I, I'm not allowed to talk about specific cases. Got it. That's okay. And I guess, I mean, what other message do you want Senator Grassley to know? Because everyone keeps counting this message to him, but he doesn't, you know, move forward with it. How? How can he? I think Senator Grassley is harming the country and harming the judicial department by essentially wanting to turn the Supreme Court into the arm of the Republican Party, by opposing a Supreme Court nominee who many Republican senators in the past have cited as the perfect nominee who would sail through confirmation. Senator Grassley is making this very politicized and is politicizing the judiciary in a way that it shouldn't be. Do you think that having Donald Trump as the presumptive nominee and having his suggestions and the fact that that's kind of getting into the mix, that's kind of harming the process even more? Well, I would hope that Senator Grassley realizes that Judge Garland is an exceptional candidate, both in terms of his intelligence, in terms of his qualifications, and in terms of his fair-minded approach to judging, and that when you have a chance to confirm a perfect Supreme Court justice, you'll take the opportunity to do that. 